Yeah, VK2 BMG, VK2 MG, and I am welcoming now our video streamers because for some reason the video was not working before. It looks like it's working now. I apologize for that, folks. Um, not sure what happened there. I had to actually restart my um, my streaming software. It um, yeah, it looks like it just locked up. It was weird. So I hope you start feeling better um, really shortly, Michael. Um, and yes, I did do a little bit of the um, of the RD contest on the weekend. I think I end up with about 18, 18 calls for about 34 points. I still got to send my login. And as uh, I was trying desperately to try and get Hayden, but uh, I just could not hear him on any of the bands he, he came up on. I did manage to find where he was supposed to be. I was hearing people calling him, but no, I couldn't hear him at all. Uh, all good on the... Um, on the building of building a couple of VHFs, a number of VHFs yourself, and the uh, the seven eighth wave on standoffs, the telescopic whip, and um, yeah, you'll get there with the HF. You'll find something that'll work for you. As um, yeah, I with the length of my yard, I really, really, really wanted to do eighty meters, and there was just no way I could do it until I found this um, this one I'm using at the moment, the G seven FEK, which uses the ladder line going about 7.4 metres up as part of the antenna itself. I've sort of got a 40, 40 metre segment on one side and an 80 metre segment on the other and appropriate length. Um, I keep going blank on the word earth runs. It's a C word and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> I hate when I go blank like that. Um, and it's it does need a little bit of tuning. It's just made out of hookup wire. And, um, yeah, it wasn't great on 80 metres for me on the weekend because for the RD. I noticed I was, it was at about 5 to 1, so I've seriously got to have a look at that when I have some time because that is not good, and I'm just wondering if maybe that hookup wire is broken somewhere. <laughs> I'll have to um, get the um, nano VNA out and see if I can actually use it to work out how long the wire actually is. Okay. Where are we up to? Robert, we finally got down to you, mate. How have you been, my friend? What you been up to, and what are your thoughts on it? On go to antennas, VK two DY, VK two MG. Are you still with us, Robert? VK two Delta Yankee, VK two Mike Golf. That's okay, mate. Um, do you want us to try and call you in next round? Okay, VK2DY, VK2MG. Just putting a quick note up, a comment up on there on the on the Facebook video, apologising for the late start on that. That looks like when I had various things freezing up, it must have um, also mucked up um, the broadcasting software I was using. Okay. It's my water, my throat's going. That's better. So we are at the bottom of the list there. So I'll just go back to my main screen here so I can see what's going on. Uh, we got anybody else on the Summersby repeater wish to join us before we head back to the top? This is Alan VK2MG. Okay, 2 mg Acknowledging VK2 AOR. Anybody else on the repeater? K2 
Okay, hearing nothing on the repeater, I'm just starting up Echo Ham so I can actually see call signs as they come through. Let me just do this here, got to find the right conference. Is anybody else on Echo Link wish to join us this evening? Not hearing anybody, we'll head over to you, Bob. Um, how have you been? Not much been up to. And um, your thoughts on a go-to antenna, uh, VK2AOR, VK2MG. Testing was this uh, vertical, which tuned 
cleaned up nicely and uh, worked beautifully in my own backyard, admittedly by uh, by the lake, by Tugra Lake. And um, I took it up to, uh, to Mount Elliot, set it up, and uh, to be quite honest, I was a bit disappointed in its performance. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have radials with me so um, um, but what I set it up as was a, a little tripod you can buy for um, um, uh, campers use to, for mounting a satellite dish, dish to watch, uh, watch TV although I can't get the, uh, the, the um, reckoning of having TV out on a camping trip but uh, but anyway, um, that works very nicely. I took it along last Saturday and showed Richard, PK2 IRR, and he seemed impressed with that. It meant he didn't have to build it, he could just go and buy one. And it's got three legs with adjustments on it, and uh, uh, the legs are flattened out at the ends with a large hole in. And I just drive uh, big screwdrivers into the ground, so I've got a handle to pull them out when I'm okay. finished. But it certainly holds the uh, whole structure up uh, nicely. No guy wires needed. Uh, but um, as I said, I wasn't too uh, happy with the performance up there. And so um, I've got to really set it up again on my back, back, uh, back veranda and uh, see if I can get it to perform as it did in the past. I... Um, one afternoon, I was testing, um, uh, what is it called, the DX80, I think it's called, um, and um, it's a all aluminium pole with a 49 to 1 ballon in the base, I think it is, and uh, in the base, a little plastic box on the base, and um, um, I spoke to... Uh, Two stations in Italy and one in Spain one Sunday afternoon so uh, I thought that was pretty good and uh, using five watts so um, that's uh, probably my best go-to antenna at the moment Alan. Glad to see you're, uh, you're improving a little bit by the sound of it your voice is uh, not as bad as what you were on Saturday mate so um, um, hope you get better soon. <laughs> It's a bit of a hard one to shake, I think. The, uh, these, uh, I think they're second rounds, or maybe it's just a flu that's, uh, that's going around. I did um, four rat tests, and they all came up negative uh, during one of the weeks that I had it, so hopefully it's, uh, it's not still with me. Anyway, back to you, Alan. Thanks for running the net. VK2MG, VK2AOR. VK2RAG, Summersby. Welcome to the friendly net, the Australia East Coast Reflector 9500, link on channel 9. Yeah, VK2ALR, vk 2 MD just reconnecting IRLP as we timed out. Uh, sorry, Bob, I didn't get, I didn't write down all of that. I was, I was actually listening. I just had um, my pencil run out of lead and... <laughs> I couldn't get the top off to put any more in. I'm madly looking for something else and ended up threading the lead through upside down on this clutch pencil. But all good on the, um, what, what I did get down there, on the rivers of the world, and um, in the OCF at home, and uh, mucking the 10 metre squid pole with about eight, nine metres of wire on the back veranda, which you haven't touched since November, for kind of obvious reasons. It, um, Good to hear that tunes well and easily. And the DX80 portable works um, works really well and really is your go-to at the moment. So we are at the bottom of the list. I don't have very much at all in the way of announcements this week. Apart from that the club will be open on the weekend, I assume. Uh, generally, I believe, opening up around 10am and um, open for the day. Uh, one thing I will mention that was mentioned to me 
happens is that the last Saturday of each month we're doing a show and tell. So do you think you can caps on if you want to do some show and tell? And I think I'm getting messaged here about other announcements. Let me just go and check. There is a Wyson meeting coming up, but I don't have the details on that. But I'm sure that there will be um, post that there will be mention of, of that on the, on either the email or on the socials. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we are at the top. I didn't talk about my go tos. I, I touched briefly on the G7 FEK and the um, and the little little quarter wave on the car. Oh, this weekend, that um, this Saturday at one o'clock, we think is Wyson meeting. So it'll, we'll, I'll, I'll check that out. I'll post something on the socials about that with my publicity officer hat on. Um, antennas. So yeah, I mentioned the G7 FEK. I posted a blog about that, which was kind of fun to, um, it was kind of fun to get it up and going, but I do need to go and check things out because five to one is not great and is probably not good for the linear either. Um, I've also mentioned the, I've got the, um, I've got the the link dipole, which I also did some blogging on, which works amazingly well when I go out in the field and is very is relatively easy to put up. The only downside is I want to change band. I've got to pull it down, and that's fun and games with a squid pole. I'm getting dinged and dinged and dinged. <laughs> okay, so we will head back up to the top here. Oh, there we go. Western General Meeting this Saturday, 20th of August. At, at midday. So no, barbecue at midday, meeting at one. Okay. So I don't need to go off and check that. We have that. So we'll head back up to the top of the list. Dave, anything else you wish to throw into the mix there? VK2FDWY, VK2MG. Out of the Leafs Club and down across the river out onto the peninsula and then come back along Manchester. 
Main Street and I get, got home here about 2.30, 3 o'clock before I got into bed. So having that uh, restful sleep, I was up at 9. And that was my adventure, but um, I didn't take the radio with me, just took the telephone uh, that took a CD that I had and listened to CDs for the ball player. So that's my adventure for the uh, addition to what I've got to say, BK2MC, BK2FDWA. Yeah, VK2 FDW, YVK2 MG. Yeah, I have noticed uh, noticed they've been opening up nicely. I did get a VK6 in the contest. I can't. Rem- I think it might have been on 40 meters on Sunday, and that's the first VK6 I've got on 40 meters in a couple of years, actually. So that was kind of nice. And um, yeah, I suppose with the um, with the guys not hearing that that pilot. Um, it, I try. I try and um, put the best spin, best spin on things. So I'll assume that he couldn't. That he really couldn't hear her. Uh, and we do know it's um, it's quite possible she was just um, just in that bad spot for um, for forty metre skip. And uh, and that does happen, doesn't it? And um, yeah, if you want to check out a, a really impressive young drummer. Um, Head on to YouTube and check out um, what's it called? Sia Drums, S I A Drums. She's in her early twenties and she records herself playing drums against a whole lot of other other bands, and she is amazing. It's incredible. Um, and sometimes you just got to go and do something like a walk or the like to to get tired enough to go to bed. I know I've been tired and not sleepy, and uh, my go to is generally go and watch some television or read a book. But um, but sometimes that just doesn't cut it either. Okay, moving on, David. VK two GSV. Anything else to add there? VK two MG. Yeah, get that. Yeah, but it just definitely is picking up. Uh, anyway, off you go, and because I'm sure you might have gone to bed and given late. Uh, VK2MG in the group, VK2GSV. Yeah, VK2GSV, VK2MG. Um, just to be clear, those 60s and 70s you were hearing there, that's not counts, that's number of years licensed for the operator for the RD contest, so... Those are actually some seriously impressive numbers for years since licensed. I think I got to put down 43 because you can't use your first year as one. And I was licensed in January 1980. So it's my 43rd year of being licensed, of ha- having a license is probably the best way of, of, of passing my certificate. I've got to be 44 for that because I actually passed in December, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, the idea was a bit of fun, and I, I definitely hear you about going from five and nine down to nothing, to, from beginning to end of a, of a discussion. And um, and yeah, like I said I only got at about eighteen, but I got to uh, I got some extra points in there as well because I got some CW as well. And I'm not sure. I think I did get a couple after one o'clock. I'm not sure. I would love to have actually been able to do 160 metres because I was actually hearing some folks on 160. I think, oh, here's one, the triple points on 160 metres. But the um, the madness um, was, was Hayden. He did uh, VK7HH. He did the full 24 hours and live video streamed it. It was, it was something to see. And, um, and he was working from, 
I think from eight. I think he actually was working. He tried one sixty right up through twenty three centimeters, and and up in, and up higher as well. He was actually doing some microwaves as well. It was uh, it was kind of amazing to watch. And he did a uh, did a follow up video on that a couple of days later. I'm I'm amazed he was actually still coherent. So let me just turn my page upside down to so we're up to Brad. You've been digging me on on Facebook, but I can't watch your videos while I'm running this. I have to watch them afterwards. Anything else you want to um, chip in there, mate? BK2 NMZ, BK2 MG. Yeah, VK2NMZ, VK2MG, all good, mate. And that's kind of that is kind of impressive. You're getting back into your place from um, from the station, given that there is that bit of a hill there between you. I'm almost kind of surprised about that. And I probably would. Um, I think I probably push to actually hear you direct from there, but I I can't try it because the radio with the um, with the UHF antenna on it is the one that I'm using for this. Why did I just ding? I don't see. Oh, there we go. Now you're messaging me again. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sure you'll have some fun on that D that DX Commander. Um, there was something else I wanted to say there. Oh, it's gone. It'll come back to me another time. I did want to know. We did actually. I didn't go to Facebook. Uh, we've got Mike Dundee, who's up to fight bk 5 ZMI, has checked in on Facebook. It's interested if anybody's interested in a 12.6 volt out 30 amp um, transformer. So if you are interested, go head over to the um, to the video stream. Um, now, either while we're up here now or, or later on. And there will be an amp and give him a ding. As I'm getting ding, 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 ding. Okay, moving on. Klaus, anything else you wish to um tip in there, mate? VK2 EDS, VK2 MG.
Yeah, VK2 EDS, VK2 MG just having a fright because the other computer just um, screen saved on me. It's fortunately not the one that I'm doing the um, video on. Because I am doing stuff on that and it shouldn't have screen saved. Just the, uh, just the one that I've got the ACMA list up on so I can quickly look up people's call signs if I don't remember them. So glad you're keeping busy and good luck with the uh, land and environment court on that. And mentioning your car, you reminded me of the fun and games I've got at the moment. I don't have a car today because um, I took the dog up to daycare and I've got the farm stay, but came home. I thought, I'm going to stop in the, up at the Golden Arches and get some breakfast. I went, um, I came out, turned it on, put it into reverse, uh, realised I'm going to sneeze, put it back into park, sneezed, and then couldn't put it into gear. Um, so it looks like I've had a um, had a little nylon bush wear out in there, so that's hopefully getting replaced today or tomorrow down at the mechanics. Um, drawn, just as you mentioned, the mag base on the roof. And yeah, I've been looking at the concept of a nudge bar. They're not cheap, are they? I was kind of surprised how much they wanted to charge for a nudge bar. And um, on an $1,800 car, I'm thinking... Do I really want to spend eight or nine hundred dollars on a nudge bar? I'm thinking maybe not. And um, and yeah, it's it's difficult on newer cars. I can't even pre up put one of those um, things under the under the hood there because I actually have a ridge which doesn't allow for those things to be put in there, which is frustrating. So I'm looking at um, trying to get something. Uh, this car I have has a has a tow bar mount with the um, with the tongue missing so I've got some bolts I've got a big bit of angle aluminium I just need to clean the bolt holes out and um, and try and get that in and maybe I can mount something on the rear of the car that way I've got a 40 meter vertical I want to try and put up there at least get me out on 40 meters in a hurry if I want to do that okay looking at my list here I think you can see my timers should be running down if I had a timer Rob uh, anything else you wish to add, mate? VK2NRC, VK2MG. Yeah, they do that. So VK2NRC, VK2MG. I tried building one of those um, with my 10 meter squid pole and hook up wire. I could not make the thing work. I ended up just taking um, taking those 9, 10, nine, ten meters um, lengths of wire and turning them into a um, 
into a forty and twenty meter dipole to take out with me before I made the um, before I made the um, the the linked one, and they actually worked pretty well. Although they interfered with each other, I couldn't have them plugged in at the same time because I didn't have them separated properly. And but yeah, and yeah, good to get the radials off the ground. Yes, it is. Um, I was going to say something else on those, but I've forgotten what that is. Oh, um, I remember watching uh, some of the videos from Callum. Uh, on DX Commander talking about radials and he was saying, yeah, the um, the important the the individual length's not important. It's the um, it's the total length of the radials. So he's found that um, with 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 the DX Commander, which is for all intents and purposes a um, a fan vertical. <laughs> um, it's about I think he's talking about uh, four lambda, uh, four wavelengths. Uh, worth a worth a wire, t summing it all up works relatively well. Um, you know, there was a discussion about does it need to be all around? Do you need to spread it all around in a circle? And he said, "Well, we're amateurs here. You might get a dB. You might get a half a dB by making it perfect. You're not. You're probably not going to notice." He's even seen it. Run, seen people doing it with um, with only using it running over about ninety degrees. But the important thing is the length. The total length. But, um, yeah, it's, it is something I would like to play with as well. Um, okay, my page upside down to see my list here. Michael, anything else you wish to wish to chime in with tonight? VK two MG, sorry, VK two BMG. Um, this is VK two MG. <laughs> next Monday. What? Can't wait that long. The um, the impact was right in front of the driver, and uh, lucky for the laminated windscreen, it uh, didn't okay. go right through. But um, yeah.
Well done. Timing out. Again. Uh, using a crossband 32A from a uh, VX8R. Just sitting in the desk, drawer of my desk. Um, it would play back, but uh, I can't actually receive the um, cost repeater terribly well, so I'm using uh, the web SDR to receive to listen. Um, okay. Oh, I think I've talked enough. And uh, I'll put it back to you there, Alan. VK to <coughs> MG, VK to the MG. Yeah, VK to BMG, VK to MG. So yeah, I think same. We're in the same boat with Hayden. Couldn't couldn't hear him on anything but YouTube. But it was fun watching him. And I think that um, I think I was relatively smart on to line up a whole lot of locals for the. Um, the VHF, UHS, SHF stuff there as well. And I think he commented in his after video that they were basically using it as a liaison frequency as well. But, and, um, and yeah, it's uh, it's a good way to actually get a lot more points, isn't it? Um, I think I think I got 2MT as well. Um, I thought about simplex and I didn't think to call because so I'm thinking, well, I'm going to call on two meters simplex. Nobody's nobody listens to two meters simplex, so yeah, maybe I should have actually given a call. I had the thing, I had the other radio listening on uh, one forty six five. Maybe I would have got somebody. I don't know. Uh, if you don't call CQ, you don't find out, do you? Yeah, with that VK one kilowatt, I, gee, I wish he just just had said kilo because I was trying to work out for the longest time if he was VK one KW or VK one K. There is something to be said for a proper phonetic at least once in a course, once in it, once in it. But um, but yeah, I still I still had a bit of fun. Normally I get out and go portable and run run QRP on that, but um, no, I was just too crook to go out in the cold and do that this week this year. And so I think last year I actually managed to place a second. The year before, no, previously I've managed a second, I've managed a first, but. Um, my 18 this year on 100 watts is not going to get me very far and I'll just putting that in so it contributes to the VK2 section um, so with the multipliers I did get some CW in there as well which was all, it's always kind of fun okay who are we up to are you back with us yet Robert um, VK2DY VK2MG Note yourself to wait for about 10 seconds here.
Possibly not. I'll try one more time. Are you there with us, Robert? VK2DY, VK2MG. Well, I'll take that as a, as a no, and he's got other things going on there, but we knew that, that was a possibility. Bob, we're back to you. Anything else you wish to wish to chime in with tonight, mate? Uh, VK2ALR, VK2MG. Yeah, VK2AORVK2MG. Um, thanks for those kind thoughts, Bob. And I, I send them back to you for the hard work you put in on um, on your nets during the day. That's an amazing effort. And yeah, I too am looking forward to getting out in the field again when I'm feeling better and when work is not calling me to do things or home is not calling me to do things. And I hope that you can actually get those medical issues um, sorted as as quickly as uh, as you um, as you need them sorted. So we are at the bottom of the list at the second round again. I see there's no more comments in Facebook, though I have uh, I let Mike know I will post for him on the club group about um, about that transformer. For anybody interested, might want to get in touch with him. Um, let's quickly go out um, to the local repeater again. For anybody who just wants to do a quick hi bye before we finish up, first up, local repeater. Go ahead, Bob. What's the details on the uh, transformer? I didn't get that down. Uh, all we have is 12.6 volts, 30 amp output. This he post. Uh, Mike posted a comment on the Facebook video. Okay, a power supply transformer. Yeah. Okay, and I was remiss. I did mean to reply to Michael on something there. No, I'm not. T I'm not short anything for the um, for trying to put something on the tow bar mount. I've got this lovely piece of um, angle aluminium that I've had properly drilled out for me with the um, 
with the M10 size bolts to, in the right places to screw into the car, and the um, and the half inch and and the mount for the uh, SO239 to go on there to hold the other hold the antenna mount on um, a bit far out from the car. What I've got to do is to get under the car with the drill and the brushes to try and clean those bolts out because they've not had anything in them probably for a decade and they are grubby and will not take the up uh, the bolt holes will not take the bolts. So that's that's basically all I'm hanging on that and fixing the um, the rear door so I can actually open it from the outside because the little plastic button is worn down so it doesn't actually hit the micro switch. So I've got to open it with a um, with the back of a spoon from the inside. If you believe that. Okay, um, I'll try once more. Anybody um, on the Summersby repeater wish to join us before we finish up? <laughs> Nothing being heard. Anybody else out on Echo Link before we finish up? This is Alan VK2MG. Hearing nothing, I think we will call that a night, folks. It's been a long one tonight, but it's been a good discussion, I think. And some and some um, some great ideas come out of that. So it is now nine thirty-two. This is Alan VK two MG on behalf of the Central Coast Amateur Radio Club, formally closing this week's net and returning the repeater to general use. And I will disconnect IRLP uh, shortly. Um, good night all. It's been fun. 7-3. And apologies to those watching the video. I didn't realise that it wasn't, it didn't have actually properly started. At least we got there eventually. And it's, it's kind of a shame that we missed the beginning of that because there were some... Um, Really interesting discussion about the antennas. Um, I, if I can find some time, I might actually post something about that in the comments. Okay, so I'm just trying to find the button here to finish the net, and I can't find it. <laughs> It's, um, yeah, it's interesting. Ah, oh, there we go. So we'll end the live video. Good night, all.